um, the old me was, yeah. I'm proud of him. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm proud of the old me. I mean, Shell Shock was, was recorded by a 20 year old that was completely out of his mind. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Think about it. They said that public speaking is one of the biggest fears, the mm -hmm. greatest fears, right? Mm -hmm. So social media gives people the platform, anybody the platform to public speak. So not everybody is prepared for, you know, to be in the public's eye like that. But also it gives you um, the public, but it makes you more comfortable to me because you're doing it behind a camera where you're not doing it where millions of people are watching you, so to say, face to face. You know what I mean? Right. The only person right. that, so you, you sort of more comfortable compared to people who have to stand up in front of millions of people and make a speech. You get more, you know, nervous and stuff like right, that right. compared to, you know. Oddly enough, I had the opposite. Really? Yeah, like for me, it's easy for me to stand in front of millions of people. I had to get adjusted to getting in front of a camera. Because that's what you were used to from back in the day. Right, and, and I think even back in the day, I didn't like cameras. Mm. Like, most of the photographs that people have of me of from you. back in the days were photographs that were probably taken without my knowledge okay. or just taken on the fly. Or, you know, I, I didn't really like cameras like that because, mm -hmm. I mean, it was like somebody's, a camera always meant somebody's capturing you. You know, you could be in a, mm -hmm. a vulnerable moment. You can be in a, a um, you might not look the way you want to look right. in that moment. You know what I mean? So I just never really was into cameras. Even so, like from like family members and friends, you still didn't like the cameras? Yeah, I took pictures, pictures. with family members, okay. but I just wasn't. I wasn't a, I wasn't the guy that was going to be in front of every camera. Right. You know what I mean that right. wasn't me. And social media is something that I had to get adjusted to mm -hmm. because I had to, you know, make myself comfortable enough to just be in front of a camera. Do you see the importance of it? Of course. Of course. I mean the whole I the whole I the whole moniker camouflage. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to refer to myself as the camp Mr. Camouflage. Right. You know, some people you know it was on some songs, the camouflage assassin, some songs, the camouflage lover, the, the camouflage, whatever. But the whole idea of camouflage was just, I never really wanted to be on Front Street. Mm -hmm, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I always wanted to just blend in with the crowd. But mm -hmm. when you first came home, um, word got back to me that you, you had a little issue with putting the camouflage back on at first. Um, when you perform. I don't know if it was an issue. Did you did you do it? Camouflage. Yeah, I put it on. When you first went out on stage but why before, would he have an issue with it? It got back to me like he didn't do, you know, at first he didn't go out there with it. I think it was Mr. Servon told me. I can't remember. But then when he put it back, when he put it on and went out there, you could tell he, you know, he got his feeling back or something. That's Servon giving me these insights. You well, know? That sound I like want to say that's what he told that me. That sounds like something Servon said. <laughs> America, we were the camera. Right, right yeah, here. He's America, right me and Servon need to talk about it. <laughs> So, <laughs> shout out um, to Servo. I love that dude, out, man. That's the homie. So I think, um, nah, I think that I was, when I first came home, I was fresh off of the parole hearing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I was told a few things at the parole hearing that uh, I was still trying to process and get um, a clear definition as to what was expected right. of my, you know, my release. My release. And so it was, I guess I was just kind of trying to feel my way. But, um, yeah, once I put it back on. How did you yeah. feel? Um, felt like the old you came back? Well, no, I felt like a better me came okay. back. Okay. You know, it's, it's um, the old me was, yeah. I'm proud of him. You know, okay. I'm, I'm proud of the old me. I mean, Shell Shock was was recorded by a 20-year-old that was completely out of his mind. <laughs> and I am so proud of him because he was a reflection of my wildest dreams at mm. that time. And um, as a grown man, now when I put it on, I can look back and say, yeah, I did that. I did that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.